A new headline came out that really surprised people, and that was this idea that you don't have to reduce meat for good health. Well, is that really true? What's behind this? What happened was a Canadian researcher named Bradley Johnston published some articles in the Annals of Internal Medicine. It was six articles in all. The first four were meta-analyses, not any new research, but looking at the old research in a new way. And what they showed was that if people reduce their meat consumption, as a matter of fact, they reduce their risk of having a heart attack. If they reduce their meat consumption, they also reduce their risk of a stroke, of diabetes, of cancer. And all of these were statistically significant benefits. In other words, they weren't just chance alone. But then they did another study where they looked at meat eaters' preferences and they decided that meat eaters like eating meat. Some of them even think they need to. So they came out with a final article, and I am not making this up. What they said was, yes, it's true that if you reduce your meat consumption, you'll probably get health benefits like lower cancer risk and lower risk of a stroke or heart attack or diabetes, but meat eaters like it so much that it's not worth it to uh, change and just go ahead and eat meat. And that was it. It was such a ridiculous conclusion that the headlines just couldn't avoid it. As a doctor, I have to say, meat is as dangerous now as it ever was. Reducing it's a good idea. Throwing it away completely is an even better idea.